Well, I was fascinated when George Brooklyn said to me, I've got an idea of using the bridge for a breakfast. I'm going, yeah, but logistics. He said, don't worry about logistics. We'll worry about that later. Can you help me fill it? And, and then he told me it was at five in the morning. So the planning for the breakfast on the bridge, it, we actually started the day after we finished last year's. It takes a lot of legwork and it takes a lot of volunteers. It takes an army to put together this event. There's nowhere that gives the military better support than Calgary. And I think when you talk to them and you find out what's going on and what this money is going to, you really appreciate the fact that uh, uh, these, these sponsors are here because of the military. The breakfast, the morning, the whole day is incidental, but uh, they're here because of the military. There's no doubt about that. Well, it's a huge fundraiser for us. Last year we raised $170,000 from this event and that money went to supporting our conference called Moving Forward, which was focused on mental health and wellness. We, yeah, we held it in Kananaskis uh, in February of this year. I had no doubt that with George Brookman and Brett Wilson involved, that this would be a success. With the 70th anniversary of the liberation of Holland, it just seemed like a natural tie-in to do it with the military and, you know, the Canadians and the Dutch have such an incredibly tight relationship. And when we were able to get General de Cruyff, that just put the button on the end. So it is uh, the combination of everything that came together to make this a perfect, perfect thing to do this year. General de Cruyff made the comment to me, he said, when they approached me and said, would you be interested in speaking at a breakfast in Canada? I said, yes, that would be great. He said, they waited a couple of weeks before they said, and by the way, you have to be there at five o'clock in the morning. I'm very touched by the whole uh, atmosphere, and, and that's actually, I would describe as, as a tremendous atmosphere of support of uh, the troops and uh, the families. And then it's the responsibility, not only of the state, but also of the Canadian people, to take care of the soldiers. And I'm very touched by this. I'd like to take the opportunity today to convey my feelings of gratitude to you, the Canadian people, for your decade-long and unrelenting devotion to world peace. We actually ordered 2,000 tulips from Holland. So as the sun came up on the longest day of the year, we watched them open up on the bridge. And so what an experience. If it's not memorable, it's not worth doing. And let me tell you, Peace Bridge, uh, Breakfast on the Bridge, 5 a.m., military families, this is memorable. They said he wasn't hurt, but he'll never be the same. He's got no battle scar. He's forever changed. He got a silver star. And thanks for his hard work. And they called it a miracle. One of the things a lot of people in Canada don't fully appreciate is the degree to which mental health issues affect us. People talk about physical injuries, but they don't talk about emotional injuries. We're out here being able to celebrate the military families and the support for the military families. So the, for the 200 people that came out here, sat on the bridge, had a great breakfast, had been great speeches, very emotional. And the funds that we're able to be raised today, we'll be able to use them for some programs for our military families in Calgary, Red Deer and Lethbridge. Today's event was amazing at awareness raising, fundraising, and most importantly for long-term friend raising. Friend raising between our military folks and civilians who all came together here to celebrate, in this case, the liberation of Holland 70 years ago by Canadians. 